Yeah, basically, um, I've got like a mission statement, which is um, optimize infrastructure. So modernize it, optimize it, reduce costs, make it greener. Um, so if I'm responsible for all of the network, I'm responsible for all of the data centers and all of the server tech or compute that goes in there. Um, so the compute mechanism to, to run applications basically in private cloud and public cloud. One of the things I want to do where I can is to optimize how that gets built, how it gets um, configured, how it gets decommissioned um, and how it gets managed. And for that, I want to start industrializing infrastructure and environments code using the likes of Ansible and uh, Terraform, right? Um, so that's that's modernizing, modernizing infrastructure. So that's what I'm going to do over the next few years. On top of that as well, we're trying to bring, we're trying to make um, container technology more mainstream as well. So you have to remember you've got like an IT department that's been developing applications with like virtual machines for the past quarter of a century on .NET. Um, it's extremely wasteful and it's uh, it's anti, anti green as well. Um, so this is another thing that I'm, it, it's a cultural revolution. <laughs> you know, along the lines of infrastructure that I'm trying to inculcate. Um, and so far, so good, you know. Obviously, you need to train the people and you need to upscale them so that they fully understand the technologies that you want them to use. And um, yeah, the likes of Terraform, Kubernetes and Ansible, principally, uh, those three on Code Cloud have been where I've been focusing my people to train. I think it was about Four or five years ago, um, I wanted to learn Kubernetes, right? So I wanted to kind of understand Kubernetes deeply. So I've been working with cloud, which is, um, you know, I consider that there are three digital um, uh, solutions or capabilities, public cloud, containers, and DevOps and automation. Right? Um, so I've been working with cloud for a long time. So I thought, okay, the next two kind of things that I need to uh, to defeat are containers, and I want to combine them with upskilling again into you know into being a developer and also automating um, also automating application and platform development at the end of the day. So I started studying GoLang as well. Then I got cancer, so I got sick. Right. So I was starting to study Kubernetes um, and I got sick and basically nearly died. So that was in 2019. So I actually said, well, I might not survive this, so I'm gonna stop studying, right? So I went in for surgery, I got rid of the cancer. Um, and basically while I was in hospital, I started researching again, um, what learning and training materials were out there. Um, and that was when I stumbled on Momshad and, um, Club. And I think he literally only had like the CKA training course. Studied on a daily basis and it really helped me kind of uh, recover and recuperate. And then when I got out of hospital, I certified. Um, so Code Club was something that stuck with me because I found it such an easy way and so well explained. And it was kind of like cracking open the, the question of container orchestration as a technology. He explains it so well and so simply that I was just like, wow, this is great. Um, so I just, I kept my subscription alive, right? And um, as he's been adding more courses, um, I've been consuming them. So basically I mentioned this to a couple of colleagues. I started working with a Schneider on Kubernetes and they were like, yeah, this is fab. And uh, as I got back to work and I've kind of progressed over the past few years, I've been promoted a couple of times. So like now I'm director of solutions architecture, uh, covering like network, uh, data centers, server standards, public cloud and container orchestration and how to automate everything. Um, so I thought, well, as I took on a new position and, um, you know, I'm working with 27 solutions architects, I wanted to use code cloud to start upscaling my team in these digital, uh, these digital areas, you know, like uh, infrastructure as code, environment as code, um, container orchestration, and also give some of them the opportunity to learn Python and uh, Golang as well. And I, I, you know, the adoption 
has been really, really positive. Uh, you know, they, they seem to love it as much as I did. Um, I just think it's one of the best training resources that I, I've ever used in my in my 25 year uh, career, basically. So. Yeah, because basically I'd survived it and I was alive, you know, I was on the other side. And when you're in a hospital bed for weeks on end, you, you can either sleep because the drugs are good or you can combine that with kind of reading and studying and uh, maybe right. getting your mind back uh, on track. And it, it really helped me to recover as well because I wrote Mumsh had a personal note as well on it uh, to thank him and uh, just to let him know, you know, when I got the CKA, when I certified and I put it up on LinkedIn, I think, I thanked him for, for being part of that kind of, yeah, yeah, that deep kind of personal journey as well, you know. Recently, I've used a lot of other training platforms uh, to try to learn things. And, um, I w you know, I won't bother, I won't bother using it. Well, what I need to learn is on CodeCloud, I will, I will always use CodeCloud. And the reason for that, and, you know, as you've seen by my kind of accreditation list, I've been learning and certifying for a long time, right? But the way that you guys do it as part of your um, as your website and as part of your resources, um, the way that you kind of break it down into kind of digestible, um, easy, digestible chunks of information, you know, you have a lecture, maybe two lectures, then you have a hands-on lab, then you repeat the process. It's a very, it's a very gradual, you know, because some of these um, learning curves for a lot of people are like sheer, right? The delivery of the uh, of the material, it, it takes something like Kubernetes for somebody to go going from zero to upper intermediate from that to that, you know. And I speak from experience, and uh, this is why, um, you know. It'd be nice to work with you guys as well, to work with you a bit more, I don't know, maybe to, to give you recommendations possibly on what kind of certifications we see coming or what we need. I mean, the Golang one was really nice. Um, I think it was good. It was a good introductory course. It'd be amazing if like you guys could deliver like, a, say, an intermediate to advanced one, because um, there were a couple of concepts that were left out. I mean, it was obviously an introductory basic course and it was it was really well done. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty much. How would I, how would I measure you against uh, other, other training mechanisms that I've been involved in? I mean, the only other, yeah, obviously, I've been, I've done classroom or um, trainer-led um, uh, classes, and you know, when you you're, you're actually presential or you're in a virtual classroom. Um, I do like that method of learning as well because it's interactive, but when it's completely virtual and self-paced, again, it comes down to the structure. This bite-sized information approach that you guys have and then the hands-on labs, practicing, the mock exams as well, uh, in terms of prepping for the certification. Is... Yeah, definitely. It's more about kind of the didactic rhythm and approach that you guys apply uh, through through the way that you you carve up the subject matter. You're not trying to kind of, you know, storm it or get people to storm into it. I mean, a really, really good, a good example is the CKA course. You start from like somebody knowing absolutely nothing about container orchestration. Yes, with the, you know, the well thought out animations of the, um, the the, the shipping animation, you know, so the, the containers being loaded onto long boats to equate them to the roles of uh, the Kubernetes platform. Um, so it's a combination of pace and rhythm uh, and also um, how you deliver the information. And on top of that as well, Dan, it's also the, uh, not only the ability to do kind of Q&A and hands-on labs right the way through the course, which again is super, super critical and it's really, really, it's great. It's a great feature, great feature. Cause you don't get that with the likes of Udemy. With Udemy, you need to consume the course and then you need to figure out, you need to spin it up yourself. Whereas you guys provide the platform for, for people to do that. And the same with the mock exams as well for, for Terraform and for Kubernetes, two of my recent certifications. I mean, um, they were really, they prepared me really well for the real thing. 
I mean, it, it's what I say to my friends or my colleagues. I'm like, if you want to learn something, um, something complicated easily, this is the best website to use. This is the best training material to use based on experience. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, I was trying to get my head around container orchestration for a long time. And sometimes if you understand something uh, and somebody else doesn't understand it, it's very easy to assume that what you understand is, is simple, right? And um, this technology, while it is simple, once you understand it, it can be incredibly concept, uh, complicated if you've no, and difficult to learn if you've no idea. So yeah, my message is, if you want to learn something complicated easily, then Code Cloud is a fantastic resource online, and it was it is my de facto. Go, I use it every day, basically.